Good morning, everybody. I'm Liberty Chan, live in Pasadena, where thousands of people are showing up to pound the pavement for the Rock and Roll Half Marathon. We'll have details for you straight ahead. To the start line with details on those road closures. And uh, I don't know, are there runners out there already? Are they stretching? Are they getting ready to run? <laughs> You know, we haven't seen a lot of runners yet, but we do see a lot of cars showing up. This, we're at the start line. Now the race starts at 7.30. Let's pan over here and take a look at people showing up in the morning. Uh, they are excited about this rock and roll half marathon in Pasadena. Now, unlike most marathons where you just hear people running around, you are going to hear music and live bands along the parade route at every mile. But first, let's take a look at this course map. It's going to start here at the Rose Bowl. The runners then head toward Old Town Pasadena. They trace a portion of Route 66. They head east, making turns south, head back north on Lake and Wilson Avenues. On their way back, they cross that historic Colorado Street Bridge and eventually arrive back at the Rose Bowl. All right, so here are the road closures that we have to talk about. Now, a portion of these streets will be shut down during the parade, uh, during the, the race route. So, Arroyo Boulevard, California, Orange Grove, Orange Grove, Colorado. Colorado, Arroyo Parkway, Green Street, Linda Vista Avenue, Lake Ave, Wilson Ave, Seiko Street, West Drive, Washington, and Rosemont Avenue. All of these streets will be closed during the race. I know that was a mouthful, but uh, had to tell you all about it. But back out here live, we have Tracy Sunlin, the organizer of this. So thank you for joining us this morning. Um, tell me about uh, all these road closures, marathon, why the rock and roll theme? <laughs> we wanted to be much more than a race. You know, we needed to be an event. What better way to be an event than with music? And what better music than rock and roll? Now, I also hear that after the race, there's going to be a lot going on here at the Rose Bowl. And the best part is it's free. So tell me about what's going on. <laughs> it's a big finish line festival. And it'll be highlighted, uh, capped off with Sugar Ray playing at about 10 o'clock. So Sugar Ray is going to be out here at 10 o'clock and it is free to the free public? Free concert to the public. Come on out. But just remember, yes, it's going to be a little issue getting here. But follow, uh, follow the, the signs to the Rose Bowl and, you, and you'll make it. And we haven't closed every street in town. It's just when we're on those roads. And we'll have rolling, we have rolling closures and we have rolling openings as, uh, um, as the race goes by. Okay. But we haven't shut down Lake completely, just where we're running. Okay, so just during the race, those streets will be shut down. All right, we're going to send it back to you now in studio. Thanks so much, Liberty. Chris? Six of Good morning, guys. Yeah, thousands of people getting ready here at the Rose Bowl, getting ready to pound the pavement for the half marathon. It's called the Rock and Roll Marathon. We'll tell you why that story straight ahead. Good morning, everybody. I'm Liberty Chan, live at the Rose Bowl, where thousands of people are getting ready to take part in a half marathon. Check out who we're going to talk to, Chandra Wilson. Guys, that's coming all up. Stick around. Yeah, most definitely. This, the race starts at 7.30, but tons of people are here. An estimated 15,000 people will be here. Take a look over there. You see a lot of them standing around, stretching out, getting ready for this half marathon. Let me tell you about the race, though. Let's go to that first graphic, show you the... We have Chandra Wilson from the famed Grey's Anatomy. All right, she's Dr. Bailey. She's wonderful. We love her. Why are you here today? I'm here uh, because of Cure Mido. It's an organization extremely close to my heart. My daughter is a, a sickle vomiting syndrome sufferer and uh, also has a mitochondrial dysfunction. And so we are the beneficiary charity of this year's rock and roll. Well, that's wonderful that you're uh, spreading awareness and you're also going to try to raise a lot of money for this today. Absolutely. Yeah, upwards of 500000 would be fantastic. I think that's about where we are now. $500,000, <laughs> half a million to this wonderful cause. That's fantastic. Now, I don't think a lot of people knew that you were a runner. Uh, because I'm not. <laughs> so I will be doing the brisk walk starting in corral number eight. And we'll hit the finish line when we hit it. <laughs> but this is my first marathon, so I'm really excited about that. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You are very inspiring. Maybe I will do it next year yeah, with yeah, you. And I got my team that came out to join me. Can Check out their team. We got the Gray's makeup department and our oh. friends Elliot English came out with me today, so it's really exciting. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. Very okay, welcome. the Rock and Roll Marathon kicks off 7.30. Lots of fun, lots of people here. And the best thing is, after the marathon at about 10 o'clock, you guys can come out here for free. There's going to be a concert with Sugar Ray. That's it for now. Half marathon, that sounds much better than full marathon, doesn't it? 
It does sound better. Is it, I'm sorry, you cut out. What did you say? Basically, just let's go with that half marathon. <laughs> Okay, half marathon. Yeah, we're talking about 13.1 miles instead of the 26. So it's possible. I mean, if I wanted to do a marathon, that's what I would do. Sounds like that's what you would do as well. But let's talk about this rock and roll marathon. So it just started about half an hour ago. Thousands of runners. In fact, 7,000, more than 7,000 participants just ran through here. Take a look behind me. They're cleaning up the area right now, but uh, we are expecting the runners, the really, really fast runners to come back in uh, about an hour, maybe the slower ones a little bit after 11. But it's called the Rock and Roll Marathon because get this, they play live music at every mile. So you're entertained through out your run. Let's go to your first map and show you the course. Now we spoke to one participant who you probably know as Dr. Bailey on Grey's Anatomy, Chandra Wilson. She told us why she's here today. I'm here to support Cure Mido. Cure Mido is the benefiting charity of this year's uh, Rock and Roll Pasadena Half Marathon. My daughter is a cyclic vomiting syndrome sufferer uh, with mitochondrial dysfunction. So um, this is the organization that's basically gotten her um, healthy again. So that's why I'm here, spreading that uh, awareness and challenging myself to walk the route. I'm not a runner at, at all. I get shin splints. It's like it's not my cup of tea. But uh, So I have committed to the brisk walk today. I will be the champion of the Brisbane Walkers out of corral number eight. And uh, the whole thing is about crossing that finish line and getting a medal. Back out here live at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. I do want to mention at 10 o'clock this morning, there's going to be a free concert headliner, Sugar Ray. So if you're at home looking for something to do, come on down here to the Rose Bowl free concert. Let's send it back to you now in studio. And thousands of runners took part in a half marathon today in Pasadena. We'll show you why this one was so different. That story coming up. It was all about the music at the Rock and Roll Half Marathon in Pasadena Sunday morning. The thought was, well, we'll run races through little mini concerts. More than 7,000 participants, including actress Chandra Wilson, best known for her role as Dr. Bailey in Grey's Anatomy, took part in the 13.1 mile race. I'm not a runner at, at all. I get shin splints. It's like it's not my cup of tea. But uh, so I have committed to the brisk walk today. I will be the champion of the brisk walk. <laughs> Wilson said the race is very important to her because the proceeds benefit a nonprofit that she holds close to her heart. I'm here to support Cure Mido. Cure Mido is the benefiting charity of this year's uh, Rock and Roll Pasadena Half Marathon. My daughter is a cyclic vomiting syndrome sufferer uh, with mitochondrial dysfunction. Three, three, one. At every mile, there was a band just like this one here playing music and encouraging runners to get to the finish line. In just one hour, five minutes, 24 seconds, Sergio Reyes of Palmdale crossed the finish line. The course is challenging, but uh, I just used um, a lot of the crowd support and stuff to get me through some of the tougher miles. Reyes says the music helped as well. Um, yeah, definitely. It got me pumped. They even called my name on one of the stages, so I was, I was motivated the whole way. In Pasadena, Liberty Chan, KTLA 5 News.